Welcome back, everyone. Last time, we actually repaired a weapon, so, woo, we made it far enough to have two weapons. I'm amazed. Now, if you'll remember, they really badly want me to go to wild territory. There is one, two, three, four quests here, and then there is, like, four stashes all right there. So, I really need to consider, am I going to be stupid right now, or am I going to be smart? I mean, it couldn't hurt to take a little look inside wild territory, right? And see if maybe, with my new shotgun, can I snipe them with slugs. Aw, poor little doggy down there. All right, let's go. Okay, we're in here. And I know a lot of people say like, oh, if you go here and like look under here, most of the time they can't hit you. But like, that hasn't been my experience. Oh, see, look, it hit the tire literally right next to me. Oh my God. See, whoever says use that spot, you're full of it. Maybe like right here. Oh, dude. All right, one. Dude, he... Oh. No way. No way. The bullet hit literally right there. Uh-uh. Nope. 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 They are way too accurate. Way too accurate. Nope. Yeah, next time I'm just not going to trust people when they when they tell me that, oh, hiding behind that truck, it'll be safe. No, they won't hit anywhere near you. Literally hit the tire in front of me and then hit the spot right next to me. I mean, yeah, technically they didn't hit me, but like, <laughs> it's close enough. All right, real quick, since last time he didn't refresh an ammo, we got to buy Hydroshock from our man Petrenko, so let's just buy a ton of that. And unfortunately, yeah, he doesn't have slugs on him, which is a, a sad thing, but just got to deal with what we got. All right, then real quick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade this and put the attachment on it. That way I can finally equip the flesh hide because any extra counts. Well, while it might be a bad idea, I think I am going to go to Army Warehouse and see about these bandits right here. That way I can also talk to Freedom and maybe get some quests from them. Because, yeah, a bandit's probably going to run down to light the fire. And then afterwards, like, they're just going to be all in that foliage, which is going to be really annoying to see. And that's why most people use the winter textures, you know, where everything is freaking dead. And you can see straight through foliage, right? <laughs> that, that, that's kind of the reason why people use those textures. Oh, oh my god, I did not notice that dog right there. That's insane. I was just about to like run right past him. That would have been a really, really stupid death. Oh yeah, I forgot there's radiation. Oh my God, that's a lot of radiation. Jesus. Okay, well, um, you know what? I'm gonna take that as a sign from God to uh, not go that way. Agroprom it is then, agroprom it is. Ooh, a bloodsucker meat. Yeah, dude, I can give you that. Actually, real quick. See, this is why you always have to check these guys over here because typically they're with they're not within the range for uh, quests when you're trying to grab all of them. But 1450, uh, I don't think that's very good, but okay. By the way, I like just woke up and when I was loading into Gamma, it showed the image of this like ladder here. In my brain, I was sitting here for like a minute thinking like, wait a second, was this ladder always there? And like, yeah, it is. But like my brain was just so confused for like the first like 10 minutes. That's why you're not supposed to stream when you wake up. You're just like, is that ladder meant to be there? Dogtail, you know what, dude? I'll give you that when I'm on my way back. I'm not running all the way just to turn that in. I've started always going to this left side over here because I can always avoid those mutants. If you go this left side, they almost never see you. So it's always worth just coming over here, hugging. Well, normally I'd hug this fence, but that's a bit closer than I remember. So I'm gonna go around actually. All right, I'm not seeing anyone here. That doesn't mean there isn't anyone here, but more than likely, like normally there's a guy standing there. If there's not a guy standing there, and there's not a guy standing, yeah, there, then yeah, there's no one here. Let's see, anything they want? Oh my God. Okay, wait, that's this army warehouse. I was about to say, if they're giving me another wild territory, man. Oh, okay. Yep, not gonna go that way. All right. Wait, what am I doing? I can just go over. <laughs> like, like I was like, ah, oh, shit, I'm gonna have to go around, but I just remembered you can literally just run up this. Like, yeah, no. There we go. Uh, wow, there's no mutants here today. That's very strange. Oh, hey, there's duty here. That's interesting. I haven't seen duty here in a while, actually. And yep, none of them want anything important. And I was just here, so I'm gonna take a wild guess and say his inventory still hasn't refreshed. Uh, no, it hasn't. How much is this again? 7K? Uh, oh, I mean, I might as well buy it. I might as well buy a hunter's kit. I mean, it's gonna be worth it in the long run, no matter what. Well, none of them had anything, so I guess it's time to uh, go to Agarprom. Ah, oh, yeah, a better knife, a better knife. I'm glad you reminded me of that. Let me see how much it would cost. Yeah, so this is the only one I can buy at the moment. 6,000? You know, that's not bad. I'll buy it. Y you know, I really haven't seen bandits here in a long time. Normally, I'll come over here, and every now and then, there'll just be a bandit sitting right here waiting. And it's like, no one's ever been over here recently. All right, I'm not hearing anything so far. Very, very quiet. That's kind of how I like Agarprom, though it normally isn't. It's actually really quiet. Normally I'd hear like a, a dog barking or like a lurker or something, but no, so far 
So good. Oh, what in the world's wrong with this guy? What in the world's happening here? Oh, it, well, that was insane lag. What is going on? Oh, okay. Now he's giving up. He's going away. Let's see, do they need anything? Uh, nothing I can give him. Anomalous studies, Zatan. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to Zatan anytime soon, buddy. Sorry. Flesh pelt, not going to do that, but I can give you dog meat. I was going to say, I literally just upgraded this so I could put that flesh pelt on. So, no, I'm not going to give you one. Good guitar music. Job is done. Great swamps. Aw, dude, he stopped playing as soon as I turned in the quest. That's kind of messed up. All right, let's turn in this other quest that's upstairs. Ooh, radiation right there for some reason. Cool. I love when there's radiation inside the buildings. There you go. PDA gone. Garbage. Ooh, it's a yellow stash of garbage. Let's go. Okay, that's great. All right. Definitely going to get that on our way back. All right, so let's see. The mutants are on the road right there. That's not that bad. But then we also have those mutants down there to get their tracking device. We just got to be careful with the military. I mean, typically the military doesn't really bother you unless you get pretty dang close to them. So it shouldn't be too bad. All right, so right over this hill, and I almost walked into that. This is why we pay a bit more attention. Uh, there should be mutants. And the answer is... Oh, snorks. And here comes one. Or not. Okay, I kind of hate snorks. Okay, where are they going? Oh, they're just like right here? Okay. All right, he's dead. Woo. Oh, dude, he hit my legs. He hit my legs. Nope. Hello? My thing isn't... Mm. All right, that was interesting. When I was clicking B, it wasn't working at all. Like, I clicked B so many times right there. I know you had to hold B, but I held it, like, over and over again, and it wouldn't pop. Is he not dead? Oh my god, dude! Either I was missing or he's just like not dying. Oh! Oh my god! I am so lucky. I am so, so incredibly lucky that he just got grabbed. Oh my god. If he did not just get grabbed, I 100% would have died to him. That That's like actually dead dead right there. I would have died. Also, um, it said I completed tracking device, uh, which is kind of an issue because, um, well, uh, that would mean it's like somewhere on the ground here and I don't know where it is. Well, uh, I don't think he has the tracking device on him. <laughs> um, that's kind of an issue. It's not right. Oh, nope. Well, even if there was a tracking device, it would have gone bye bye like that. Messing around. What? What? The skull just fell from where? Huh? Okay. That's a very ominous sign. I'm going to take that as a sign to just leave. Uh, my dude's leg is like completely messed up. Do I uh, waste a bandage and pop some pills? I guess I do. Because it's going to be more annoying. There you go. All right. Let's see. This guy. Wait, where is he? Oh, my God. He's like over here in the corner. Hey, brother, job is done. 2,400 and some lubricant. I mean, I don't know if that was worth my medical supplies, but yeah. Oh, uh, yes. The the good idea, obviously, would go get Sakharov's uh, research uh, documents, right? Go all the way to Yantar. No, I'm joking. All right. I think what we can do is go grab that yellow sash, go down to turn in this quest, maybe see if there's anything else going on in Cordon. But the main thing is to go to the Great Swamp so we can turn in those two quests we have there. All right. There shouldn't really be anything on this road because there wasn't a second ago. So I'm just going to trust... The fact that there's definitely nothing here and just run straight forward i remember in one of my playthroughs there was military and they just started coming down the hill from up there that was like so unlucky i don't think i've ever seen military over here again since then but they were just like running down the hill and i'm like bro what in the world oh i hear a lot of gunshots okay i, I wonder because since that sound is like right here that might be a bandit but that's a suppressed weapon let's see I, I hate this. I literally can't see. Ah, screw it. We're going down the hill. I need to be able to see. Who's shooting? Wait, I, I the, the gunfire was coming from over there. Oh, my God. Look at that. Uh Oh, no. A loner. Oh, my God. That is ridiculous. That is so many. Poor dude. He's going to die. Uh, Yep, he's, he's going to die. I'm going to try to help him. Oh, I did hit him. 
Oh, radiation right there. Great, great, great. Dude, how is he alive? Bro is like tanking him. Oh, I, I got hit. That it? That it? We good? I, I wonder if bro is alive. I don't I don't know. I didn't I didn't see him. Uh no, I think he died. Oh yeah, dude. Here's his dead body. Poor guy. I should have saved him earlier, but yeah, that's what he had. He had an SVU. And then there was another guy over here. And once again, I am like really not good with finding dead bodies. Oh, there he is. Ooh, an ADAR. And it's got two good parts in it. Okay, I will be taking that, brother. My guy, you, like, oh my god. I don't know why. How come radiation deals so much damage to me when I have like so little radiation? Bloodsucker meat. Oh, okay. And it's one of my friends, of course, who, who wants it. And the ecologist makes sense. Uh, there you go. Job is done. Ag oh my god. Please don't be a yellow and aggro palm. I just came from there. Okay, it's a white. And it's at the military base. Okay, so it doesn't matter anyways. Because even if it was a yellow, I wouldn't be getting it. Obviously, I'm really hoping that we get advanced tools. That would probably be the biggest upgrade we could possibly get right now. Advanced tools, please. Oh, it's another basic. But you know what? It has an SKS that has two good parts. You know what? That's not that bad. Yeah, I mean, you knew it was going to be uh, basic tools, because why would this game be nice to me? Why would it give me advanced tools, you know? On the bright side, I guess, at least I have uh, basic tools to give to somebody else. I don't know who I'm going to give it to, but I, I guess I have it. All right, going to take this way to Corden again, because it is typically safer. Let me see. Uh, who did I give it to? Oh, I gave it to... to no, 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 don't push me! Oh my god, my companion pushed me into the load zone. Please don't push me again while I check something. Uh, Type B. Yeah, type B on that. And then this is... Oh, both of them are type B. Okay. All right, time to go back to Gordon. All right, no mutants ahead, right? We're... Nope, I hear it. Uh, That sounds like a boar, not a flesh. But I can't really tell. Wait. I heard the walking. There's 100% a mutant here. Hello? Oh, no, it's flesh. It's right there. All right, we're good. All right, let's see if uh, they got any quests here at the farm. Revenge killing, bandit, and cordon. You know what? Sure, because I'm already here. And no, uh, I'm not going to give him the basic tools, even though I'd like to help my loner, bro. It's just like late game, I'm like never going to come down here. So I don't think it's really worth it. Uh, is, is today my lucky day? Hello? Just sitting right here for me? Really? That's actually so lucky. Please don't do that. Dude, they were so close. Oh, no, 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 Dude, they are spraying. Dude, they were spraying at that zombie. And there's a freaking barrel right there. Oh, my God. I was so scared that they were about to freaking blow that up. Oh, my God. I'm assuming their bullets can deal damage to that. I'm not 100% sure if they can or not. But, like, oh, uh, dude. Yeah, no. All right. I've actually never been here so far because I've been trying to avoid it because sometimes there's bandits here, which, no. Doesn't look like they're... Wait, who's that right there? No, no, no. Okay, it's Freedom. Good, good, good. Okay, well, technically, that's not good because Freedom and Bandits are friends. And so, sometimes where there's one, there's both. But, uh, no. Because guess what? YouTube needs... To oh! Oh, my God. What did I just get hit by? Uh, wait. What did I just get hit by? My guys aren't attacking anyone. What? Hello? Hello? Who did I just get hit by? Um, all right. We're, we're not going to mess around anymore. Um... I'm gonna I'm gonna head around this way. Yep. Nope. We're gonna go to rookie. Literally, what in the world just happened? Yeah, it has to be either on the mill or on the bridge. I think it's on the bridge. Like, yeah. I think it's just a bandit up there. But yeah, we're no, we're getting out of there. All right, job is done. 6,300 for that contract killer. Let's see if they got any new quests going on here. Broken detector. Sure, I'll give you it. Even though that's not exactly the smartest idea because that's components right there. But you know what? He might give me a stash. So I'd say it's worth it. And it wasn't worth it. Whoa, a thousand for a broken detector? Actually, no, that was worth it. Spring cleaning right there. And then we got revenge killing right there. And then there's mutants right there. Great. So uh, that's all in one area. So in other words, I feel like that's maybe a return mission idea. We should probably just head over to uh, Great Swamps, the, the clear sky base, to turn those in. Oh, yeah, the redone stuff. Yeah, I've considered installing it. Um, I might actually install it for uh, EFP. Because I am currently still messing around with my uh, EFP configs. All right, you know, I really don't want to do this, but I'm probably... Wait, hold on. Let me let me see real quick. Do I have the stuff to make one, maybe? Probably not. I I don't have many uh, materials on me. 
Oh, wait, never mind. Apparently, I can make ibuprofen. Uh, all right, cool. The only thing I needed was caffeine tablets. So let's see if I can buy some more from him, maybe. 3K, you know what, whatever, who cares? Just give me them caffeine tabs. By the way, I had the, like, craziest dream. Last night, I was dreaming that I was playing a Stalker VR game, like a full Stalker VR game, like, from GSC. Because I remember just, like, waving around my weapon in Rookie Village and, like, reloading a double-barreled shotgun and everything. And my, I guess my brain is thinking in VR because I've been playing a bit more into the radius recently, right, in VR. And so my brain's just, like, straight up, yeah, dude, Stalker VR, let's go. Do I have the right bulletin? Do I have the right bulletin? Wait, 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 did he just run through the fence? Huh? There's not a crack in this fence right here, is there? Wait. Yeah, he just freaking phased through the fence. I was going to say, there's no, like, thing right here. And what is he shooting at? Oh, the dog's over there. Bro, you can chill. You don't got to shoot at him. All right, let's not die to anyone here like last time. I don't know if there's anyone here. I, I, I should just be a little bit careful. And by a little bit careful, I mean obviously running in. Yeah, there's no one here. I would have heard them. So oh, shit. Ooh, yep, right in the head. I was gonna say, oh, there's no one here because no one's talking. But I guess it makes sense that no one's talking when it's only one guy. Where is he? Is he inside? Wait, that's my guy. There you go. Excuse me. Excuse me, are you gonna get out of the doorway? Excuse me, excuse me, let me teleport you. Cause I was like, oh yeah, dude, no one's shooting. Therefore, there's no one here. That is probably the dumbest uh, logic I could have possibly had. Like literally, oh yeah, no one's here because no one's talking. Dude, I think I think duty's gone for honestly. Um, I th I think duty is gonna be a dead faction more than likely in uh, Heart of Chernobyl because since Freedom's in raw stock, I I don't really know. I don't re really foresee duty being like anywhere else at this point. Like I th I feel like duty's gone for. <laughs> they they changed bases. That'd be hilarious, dude. Imagine duty fighting with Freedom and they just end up trading their bases. Uh, I hear dogs barking. Oh, yeah, they're shooting at him. Okay. Oh, oh, it's a, it's a side sucker. Um, uh, I'm going to let them deal with it. I don't want none of that. Yeah, you guys can do it. You guys can do it, right? Either they're dealing no damage to it, or it's like the most immune side sucker in the world. I know I said I'm not going to do anything about it, but like, holy crap, they need to... Actually, no, 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 no. I'm not doing anything about it because, yeah, no, no, no. My Psy, my Psy is going to get messed up. They killed it. Good. There he is. Oh, he gave me skin. That's surprising. Actually, wiser, wiser. Oh my God. You, you are more than likely correct. Actually, now that I think about it, it makes so much sense with the modern, um, conflict that is happening currently in Ukraine. Uh, more than likely we already knew this ahead of time, but stalker Two, the military was not going to be seen as incompetent, corrupt pieces of shits, right? Like we knew that's, probably not what was gonna be shown right so yeah no if military became more you know quote unquote proper i could see a lot of duty members returning to be a part of the military so that's probably it like duty probably just like disbanded hey brother job is done and job is done look at that good money agriprom stash and it's a white which is fine because it's once again near military the game loves trying to get me to go near military you know what, actually, th this is such a dumb idea, but I, I do absolutely love Clear Sky. And even though I'm not going to be down here that often, here you go, dude. I'm going to give you my basic tools. There you go. Love you, brother. Uh, You know what? Yeah, I'm just going to buy a little bit more slugs. That's pretty expensive, but what can you do? I could also buy the suppressor. How much is it? Two th uh, uh, dude, I'm buying that immediately because suppressors have such good benefits in gamma which is so weird to me like why does a suppressor give you like seven percent more damage and like all these other buffs it makes zero sense to me but i'm not gonna argue wow they i can't believe they really have nothing all right what i was gonna do is maybe accept the quest for the renegades but that's probably a bad idea i think instead we should probably go visit our old friend up there because i mean it's kind of hard to invictus the game if you never do the main quest so yeah we should probably actually start some of the main quests now yeah so i think what i'm gonna do actually is i'm just gonna go around the long way i'm gonna go around here and go up here because 
because uh, if I cut straight through the middle, I don't know how. Actually, it might not be that bad of an idea. I did it last time and there weren't a whole ton of mutants. Yeah, we can try that. All right, dude. Why Why do you have your gun out pointing this way? Is there something that I should know about over there? Oh, board. Oh, I was going to start running away, but he's dead. Cool. Dude, what in the world? There's a bunch of dogs and was chasing the flesh. What in the world? Oh, yeah, I hear something. Okay, I knew it. I knew there was going to be a boar there. But see, okay, yeah, definitely that suppressor makes a difference because before I was not able to kill a boar in so few shots. All right, well, so far, so good. There was only really boars, and I see a boar right over there, I think. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> did, did the boar literally just run straight into the lightning? I mean, cool. Oh, it ran into the lightning again because I was checking where that white stash is, and it's right over there where uh, that boar is. Oh, wait, that's a flesh, I think. What in the world is going on? There's a flesh and oh, they killed the dog. There's like a lot of mutants over here, a lot of different mutants. I still love that mod where it destroys whatever part you picked up. So I picked up a freaking flesh eye and now this is a giant gaping freaking hole in his eye. That's great. All right, so there is a stash like right in the middle here. Let me see. Uh, eh, let's just run out and jump. Come on, jump and we're good. All right, cool. Uh, I mean, I will take it because it has a good barrel. And as far as this goes, just as a, uh, I was hoping to get a uh, upgrade kit. All right, I, I hear them shooting over there. 100% there's renegades over there. I'm just not going to bother with them. I'm going to go around this way. Oh, God, I hear a lurker. Really? Really, game? Okay, lurker or or renegades. Uh. Oh, 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 no, I did not know it was right there. Oh, my God. Oh my god, I was not expecting it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? They killed it? Wait, did they... Okay. Okay. I mean, I shot it a couple of times. Come on, I know there, there's got to be more than one. There's more than one, right? Come on, no, game. Don't troll me like this. Don't troll me like this. There's there's, there's another one. No, no, no. I, I, I don't trust this game. I hate bushes, man. Come on, game. Is there is there seriously not another lurker? Really? All right, I'll trust you. I'll trust you, game. Are they shooting at me from over the, here? It sounds like that bullet was coming towards me. I'm just gonna ignore it, but like, huh? Okay, I really hate how tall this grass is over here. This is like the worst possible thing in the world. But hey, at least once I get over here, uh, I don't really have anything to worry about. All right, sometimes over here in front of the doctor, there are dogs that spawn. It's very rare, and I don't see it often, but it does happen. So I will be a little bit careful. I'm not hearing anything, so I'm going to say, yeah, we're good. Bro, are you really just sitting in front of, like, an unlit fire here, dude? Let me help you. There you go. Congratulations. All right, doc. Yep, yep, yep. We'll see you. Thank you. Underground hideout. Wait, what is going on out there? They're shooting at something and I was here. I just heard them talk. Oh, oh, my companions are, are moving through the renegades. That's really annoying because they just, they, they've now got renegades alerted to us. That's actually really annoying. Oh God, dude, that's so annoying because there's so much foliage right here, dude. Oh my god, why would they do this, dude? Oh, dude, that shot that shot was really close to me. Yeah, like, I can't even see them. Where are they? I literally don't see where they are. All right, you dumb ecologists. You guys caused this. Go kill them. I shouldn't have to kill them. I'm not the one who started this mess. Wait, they're done shooting. Wait, no way you guys killed all the renegades, did they? Did you guys actually kill all the renegades? There's, like, one dead body right here. That's interesting. Now, do I jump over? To check properly and eh, it's fine by the way this is how you die in Invictus making stupid decisions like this I'm not seeing anyone else there, uh, there wasn't just one guy was there maybe there was just one dude make sure to grab everything on the ground dude I I am so I'm so glad that there's like so many just like random drops on the ground everywhere it's so nice all right I'm gonna need some water because that was my last thing of water I do wish I had the uh, mod or whatever it is to wear an EFP you can like fill up your own canteen with water and then boil it and then add purification tablets like i like that so much i don't know if that's like a separate mod or what but i should totally install it if it is Ooh, 
Ooh, smoked sausage. That's what I'm talking about, dude. All right, well, now that we know we're good here, I could go to aggro prom and I could go to the underground, maybe sneak around back and that wouldn't be as bad. Because if I go down right here, I would come up behind and I wouldn't have to fight the bandits because I don't have a grenade. And the bandits is something I would normally want to kill with a grenade. I don't know if I killed it or not. I just like ran immediately. I'm guessing I did because my companions don't care. So good panic shot. Oh, oh, hi. Oh, he died in one shot. Man, I'm finding a lot of plastic film about. That's actually great for uh, crafting medical supplies. Explorer's fate anomaly. Yep, it is my fate to jump into the middle of this. Yep, right there. You can see them. Renegades. Oh, always right there. All right, now I actually do legitimately need to be really careful because going through this way, I might end up with some uh, mutants right in my face. And shit, they see me. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna run over here real quick and regen a bit of stamina. All right, run into the transition zone. Let's go. Oh, the game crashed. All right, no mutants, right? No mutants. No mutants. No mutants. No. Okay. We good? It is really dark and really dreary, and we are definitely not getting that stash. That is a no-no from me. There's a bunch of zombies here. I don't think they're that big of a deal. I'm gonna tell my guys not to shoot. Yeah, I don't really care about them. I'd rather just uh, get to where I'm trying to go. I really hate the sound zombie footsteps make though, because it sounds like something's running at you, you know? Oh, something just got grabbed. I don't, I don't I don't know what just got grabbed, but it's dead. And I'm gonna thank the world for killing it. Ah, it was flesh. Okay. Hey, brother, what are you doing all the way out here? Oh, oh, I think I figured out what he's doing out here. He killed some snorks. Good job, my man. Good job. You doing good, man. Um, wait a second. I just realized something. Um, I don't think that's how you hold a gun. I'm not a hundred percent certain. I mean, I've never tried putting a gun on my shoulder before like that, but or on my arm, but uh, I guess that works. Anyways. Oh, he wants two dog livers. Wow, I can actually help him. Here you go, dude. All right, there you go, strange man. Enjoy the dog liver. All right, so real quick, we're gonna try going this way into Strelok's hideout, which avoids the bandits. And hopefully the bloodsucker doesn't aggro on me. We should be able to get in and get out really quickly, hopefully. So uh, let my stamina recharge a little bit. And, uh... I guess we're gonna do this. Let's go. And now, the uh, oh oh, there's a there's a poltergeist down there. Great. Crap. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to get past this, dude. Can I can I jump can I jump over, please? Like that. There we go. There you go. That works. Oh yes, I love that noise. That creaking noise. All right, this totally won't hit me, right? Yep. Okay. Honestly, with how brightly. Oh oh god. Th this is what I said. Oh my god. See? There's always mutants here. See? See? This is why I, even going this way. I don't I don't trust this game, dude. I don't trust this game. I was hoping, you know, you go the back way, obviously we'll be fine. There's there's going to be no mutants. Nope. Yep, just going to crouch. I'll let them do it. There we go. All right, because I was going to say, I really, if it picks something up, I'm dead. Like, I'm basically dead. Like, no matter what. All right, here's Sherlock's hideout. You know, I've crouched all the way over here. Ooh, ibuprofen. Wow, the game's trying to be nice to me. It's like, hey, I know I made you just deal with that side sucker, but hey, you know, there are some benefits. Woo, Sherlock's hideout. Woo, we're so happy. All right, FMJ rounds, military documents, tomatoes, vodka, this stuff. Also, make sure to grab the uh, worn notebook that's in here. All right, well, I think that's it in here. So uh, let's let's crouch and go out, be even more stealthy this time. Because here's the thing, normally, when you go in to Strelok's hideout, once you come back out here, it spawns a new mutant over that way. So I don't want that to come and pop out. Hey, my buddy is uh, blocking the doorway, so maybe I should just like run for it. Yeah, there you go, he's, he's blocking the doorway for me. Yeah, this is gonna take me a little bit. Oh, there we go. Got it. And we're out. Let's go. Woo. All right. Since they gave me a free bottle of ibuprofen, I guess I'll use it real quick. I wasn't originally planning on using one, but yeah, I'd rather my leg not be broken. So there we go. 
Also eat a, a nice smoked sausage too. Ooh, renegade faction patches. Sure, I will give you those. Here you go. Here's your renegade faction patches and great swamp stash. And oh, dude. Oh, dude. Are they really going to make me go back to great swamps? Oh, man. I mean, I have to. I have to, don't I? Yeah, I, I, I basically have to. I'm forced to go that back down there because, you know, like what if it's what if it's tools dude what what if it's my tools the only thing i'm like a bit concerned about obviously is you know when i do go back over there there is the possibility that the renegades are just sitting there waiting for me oh my god from this from this direction that stack of tires right there looks like a guy facing that way oh my god dude you know what what i'm gonna do real quick just in case we have to run i'm gonna pop some caffeine tablets so i at least have stamina region so uh let's go Oh God, I hear a bloodsucker. Why do bloodsuckers always spawn over here? This is like an extremely common occurrence. They're always over here and I don't know why. Oh, I think, I think, oh no, it's still alive. Bro, they're all like right here in front of me. Actually, you know what? No guys, come on. Let's just, let's just go, let's just go. I just want to go get this tools and then we'll be out. Let them deal with the bloodsucker. They'll have their fun. Oh crap, bunch of radiation right there. Oh, yep, bunch of rads, of course, because why wouldn't there be rads? It's okay, my guy deserves a smoke anyways, you know? He, he's been through a lot, obviously, and shit, I forgot I can't just like run across that. All right, so my guy's already killed the renegades over here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hope that there's no more over here. Now, I know that's not a very smart thing to do, you know, just hope, but uh, what else can I do, really? I mean, like with that tall grass, like I can't see nothing. It, it, like <laughs> I can't see anything all right I'm just hoping really hoping that there's no one here I don't I don't see a fire on but that doesn't matter because half the time these guys forgot to light fires anyways oh sh there, there, there he is did I kill him I think I killed him well, that was a very lucky quick shot so there was just one dude that came back here that's so weird all right this yellow stash should be in this corner yep all right please advanced tools let's go be nice to me it's gunsmithing you know what that is literally just as good that is just as good i will accept it yeah gunsmithing tools is obviously amazing because now we can finally craft our own ammo which is great i'm just trying to think right now do i want to make my way all the way back up here manually or do i just want to go down to the clear sky base and then pay them to take me up to the bar i think them taking me up to the bar might be the better decision because while it is expensive to get them to take me up to the bar it's not that bad all right well crap i guess i'm running uh, across here real quick oh great good job a mission oh crap dogs Woo! cool Come on, boys. We're about to go into uh, hiding real quick. Crap, the dogs are here. Oh no, there's a rat. Does this count as safe, really? I don't know if I trust this. This counts as safe. Look, I'm gonna be real with you. I don't think this should count as safe. Uh, okay, guys, you, you guys need to come over here. Guys, guys. Guys, stay in here. Stay in here. This really shouldn't count as safe. I'm just saying. I am giving the game a lot of trust right now. Like, a lot of trust that this is safe. No, rat, don't do it. Don't do it, rat. Don't do it. No. Nah, he's gonna live. Dang, dude, look at that rat. He's fine. He's just praying to the emission right now. Yep, he's praying. Good job. All right, we're, we're safe. Cool. Now, I, as I said, I'm gonna be real. I, I don't believe that should be safe, but I'm gonna accept it. I don't know if people would be happy with this change or not, but I do think at some point emissions need to be updated to where you can't just stay in some like rickety ass building like that. Like, I'm not saying remove all the buildings that you can stay in, but like remove some of them. Like, oh, that makes no sense to me, you know? Crap, whoop. 
This is why water's OP. You just stand in water, they can't do anything. I really don't have much more ammo, guys. Wait, what was that? That wasn't a dog, was it? No, 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 no. That looked like something standing up. Oh, it was a freaking lurker. Oh my god. Okay, I'm glad my guys got that. Now, most of the time there's no one here. That doesn't mean it's guaranteed for no one to be here. But, like, most of the time there isn't. Ramrod, nice. You know, I've actually surprisingly found quite a lot of ramrods. I need to remember that I really need to get a headlamp. Oh, oh my god. Uh, I can't even tell where it is. Let's hope I'm not underneath it. Okay, cool. I was gonna say, whenever that does that, I literally cannot tell where the pulse anomaly is, so I just gotta pray that it's not above me. Dang, Shoma died in Dark Valley to a poltergeist. Geist. I still can't believe these guys are sitting next to a uh, unlit fire. That's kind of weird. I mean, technically it just rained, but uh, it's still weird. Eliminate mutant threats southwest of the pump tower. Bro, I killed the mutants over at the pump tower. What are you talking about? All right, let's see. I'd like to use your services. It would cost, yeah, 4,000 to the bar. You know what? That's fine. Let's go. And we're in. Nice. And as soon as we get in, something lightnings. Yep. All right, really quickly while we're at it, see if these guys over here have any new quests. Oh, plastic jars. Give me that. All right, let's see. This guy right here playing the guitar by himself. Job is done. Truck cemetery stash. Now that's interesting. It's a white, so we're not going to worry about it. Warfang sure did. Bro, he wants a wristwatch? Uh, you know what? Sure, I'll give it to you, but you better give me a stash for it because that's like, that, that that's a hefty price to pay. All right, let's see. We got to go down here to talk to Barman anyways. This is one of the main quests. So let's see. First of all, this guy wants my wristwatch, I think. Yep, and wow, he gave me 1750. I think that's better than what the traders give you. So you know what? That's okay. And then you, job is done. Dogtail, and then also, uh, I believe Sherlock stopped here. Yep, all right, there we go. Done with that. All of the North, which we are 100% not doing anytime soon, at least not for now, because going down and doing Miracle Machine, I don't know. They really all want me to go to Yantar, deliver package to Yantar, deliver package to Yantar. You know what? Sure, I'll accept it, because guess what? I'm going to have to go over there anyways. Ooh, one Lurker Tail. Sure, buddy. All right, hello, brother. Job is done. Uh, another Truck Cemetery Satch. Okay, is this one a yellow? Nope, another white, which is fine. You know, I don't exactly want to go there right now anyways. All right, so we got a ton of stuff to take off this guy and put in the stash. Now, I'm actually going to keep these two on me because I want to see if I can repair them, maybe. I do have two of the parts that I need, actually, for this, and all I would have to do is replace the barrel. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Never mind. Sorry. This is at 39%. I don't know why I have that on me. So, yeah, I would need two uses. So I'd have to make a whole new Type B. All right. Now, let's see about the SKS, maybe, because, honestly, the SKS would probably be one of the bigger upgrades that I could get. So, the SKS. Oh, once again, I would only need two parts. That's actually cool. Now, let me see. Does he have any other? No, he doesn't. Okay. So both of them need two parts. That's not bad. All right. So I need fasteners and cleaning solvent. Here, I'll buy one cleaning solvent. And then I'm going to buy all of these off him. That requires two. How many does this require? Uh, Four. Okay. So that, that, that works. That works. Wow. I really don't have many fasteners. That's uh, interesting. There you go. Type B. And now we just need a grooming kit, which is fine. And another type B. Yeah, this scope is the only one that I can have. Let me see what it looks like first. I mean, oh, dude, that looks like crap. Wait, why is it like... Why is it like a 2D image? Wait, what? That is so weird looking. All right, so real quick, let's go ahead and field strip and pull this 63 out so we can repair it. There you go. Get that to 100. And then 94 on that. So now we got the gas tube in that nice all right so might as well use this so let's go ahead and maintain and we're going to replace the barrel and then we are going to maintain parts and we're going to replace the bolt carrier nice we now have an adar which is interesting because i've never used this gun before ever i don't know if i'm going to repair the sks for now because even though it looks nice that would use up my last bit of type b which would not be a smart decision and 97 percent. that's good enough there we go cool so now we have this adar now, as far as ammo goes for it, we do have a bunch of HP, but on the bright side, we can disassemble some of the ammo that we don't need, which is just these two. All right, so ammo, we're going to want... Let's see, can we make any AP? We can make one set of AP, that's fine. And then the rest, oh, just one FMJ. Ah, yikes, okay. Yeah, okay. So it's just like, it's got its like normal suite of upgrades. All right, so two things. One, let's run over here and turn in this fang, and then more than likely, I need to buy a headlamp. So first off, hi, man. Sorry for shoving a glow stick in your face, but thank you for the 1050. All right, so first of all, coming over to you, brother. Um, I was going to make some Hydro Shock, but I should probably see if I can craft some. So instead, we're just going to buy this for 6K. 
There you go, got that on me. And of course my dude is sleepy right after I buy it. So uh, yeah, that, that means it literally didn't matter at all. Now the thing is, I really need to go to Freedom Base and make friends of Freedom so that I can buy ammo for this gun because uh, yeah, it's gonna be a bit more difficult to get ammo for it. Yeah, I, I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Yeah, I should probably just use the Hunter's Kit since it has the same weight for now until I upgrade the backpack. So just gonna put that in there. Hopefully I'll remember it later. And then let's see, can we make some Hydroshock? The answer is uh, yeah. A little bit you know what that's good enough for now all right well it's time to let my uh buddy go nighty night with the boys so uh yeah let's wake up at six. Oh, my guy needs some water we need to do something about that once again another dreary morning all right well we did pretty good this episode we didn't have anything really bad happen we got shot a few times and lost a good bit of health and we got the scare of that sci sucker down at Sherlock's hideout. hide out but for the most part we did another successful uh, episode so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time peace